Hey, gorgeous girlfriend. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. I am creating this little video training and video series because I put a post out one post yesterday that went freaking viral and far exceeded my expectations and my intention. And, um, as a result, I have now 55, the last time I actually counted, discovery calls booked within 24 hours of um, creating this post. There's a couple more in my email. I don't know exactly how many. I kind of lost count, but I, it's around 56 or 57 discovery calls that I've booked in 24 hours from one post. And ultimately, What's happened here is I went from less than a year ago being almost homeless to in May, I had my first $5,000 a month. In July, I had a $15,000 a month. This month, I'm on track to making $40,000 a month. For those of you who um, have been following me for a little bit, you'll know I'm just a few months away from moving to Kauai where I've dreamed of living for 20 years. The only thing that's like I'm just waiting on is my dog's blood test to come back, which takes about 120 days so that they don't have to be in quarantine. So, um, but I am going there in two months. What's the date today? I think it's November 8th. I fly there to go find a house. So, um, like I have been an up leveling and manifesting fucking queen for months. Right. And so what happened yesterday was, um, I made a post and in that post, as I said, there's like over 56 discovery calls. I'm booked out now almost two months in discovery calls for people to even just get on the phone with me. Um, unless you're a client, a one-on-one -on -one client with me, that's different. But, um, so what I decided to do was, um, I want people before they even get on the phone with me to start to have massive transformation. So I'm creating this video series um, so that they can start to have transformations before they even get on the phone with me. And I'm doing this in my group because you're my group. You're my people. I fucking love you guys. So um, you get, I mean, people in my group always get like first um, knowledge of everything that I'm doing and um, access to me. But then everybody that's on my schedule is now getting this so they can start to implement and get results before they even get on the phone with me. Because that's, that's what I want. Like, I want everybody that I talk to and work with, um, and even people that like don't pay me to work with, like even just people just from reading my stuff, um, I want you to get results. So, um, and I've had two incredible messages from people like, that I've never even met before <laughs> have just followed journal prompts that I put on there, um, put in groups or put in here and they've started to already have massive transformation. And that's what I want because ultimately like we are freaking incredible women and daughters of the divine. And we are like here to step into our creative power and to like make our dreams come true. Because as we do that, like as we start to manifest and up level and, make everything happen in our lives our vibration increases so much and it causes this ripple effect and we affect every single person around us so um i love <clears throat> the study that gabby bernstein talks about in her book the universe has your back that where they took a group of monks in um just a small group of monks and they put them in a high crime rate and they just had them meditate. And what happened as a result of the monks just meditating reduced the rate of crime 12% from just a small group of monks. That's pretty fucking massive. So my whole like mission is to help women come together to awaken their divine feminine and to really start to, oh God, the sun's really coming in my eyes. Um, I hope it doesn't affect the light here very much. To help us like, tap into our creative power because as women we have the incredible ability ability to actually create life within our bodies and when we tap into that creative energy that creative force 
not only do we create babies, like we become a magnet for absolutely everything we want in life and our energy just becomes magnetic. We become infectious and we make literally everyone around us happier and better and then they in turn will become happier, you know, and more vibrational, more magnetic and just imagine the ripple effect of that throughout the entire world, right? So, um, that light's getting really in my eyes. I hope you can see me okay. If not, I'll have to move, but my phone's on the charger, so I kinda have to stay here. So anyways, what I wanna do is I want to, I'm creating this video series so you can start to have some tools and start to create massive shifts. Um, because ultimately, like, that's what I want, right? Um, and I want you to see, like, these are some of the tools that I use to go from literally being almost homeless, my mom paying my rent, and um, my car being sent to repo and my internet and power and phone literally rotating and being shut off every other month because I would like go pay this bill and then I would go pay this bill and then the other one, it was like this fucking horrible cycle. So when I decided to like make a fucking change and like I was done with that shit, um, every single thing happened. And it, here's the thing, like right, when you decide, I talked about like deciding to make a change, like it's one thing on a conscious level to be like, hell no, I don't want to be borrowing money from my mom and having her pay my rent and, um, you know, like desperately trying to find a place to live because I can't afford $2,000 a month anymore and all this shit happened to me and, um, you know, because of all this shit happening, this is what my life looks like and, um, and literally, literally having to leave my groceries at the store twice in one week because my food stamps haven't come through. I cannot even tell you, with having a um, an infant son who was solely breastfeeding, so I was expending and giving just like every bit of nutrition and energy I had to my son, and I was so fucking hungry, like so hungry. I remember the second time it happened in one week, it was like just a few days apart, my food stamps were supposed to re-up and they didn't, and I could barely make it out of the grocery store holding my head up high, let alone like having the tears starting to stream down my face. And I was like, I was local, I was from the town, I knew everyone in the grocery store. It was so freaking embarrassing. And just the level of hunger that I felt was so deep and so real. It, it's, that is something that no person should ever experience. And unfortunately, a lot of people do. And um, yeah, so I just, fucking sat in my car and bawled my eyes out because I was so hungry in like the deep pit of my stomach. I just can't even explain how, um, how deep that hunger went. And, uh, I went from there less than a year ago to now and I'm, I am, it's expected that I'm making $40,000 this month. My biggest month that I've ever had was in July and that was $15,000 a month. So I'm on track to more than double that. And it's gonna happen, like it's totally gonna happen. So how did I do that within a year, right? Like that's, that's what I'm on a mission to teach you and to literally like live your dream life. And um, like I said, moving to Kauai in just a few months. I've never even been there. It's just been calling my soul for 20 years. I have wanted to live in Kauai for 20 years. And until recently, I didn't even let myself think that that could be a reality because it was too far-fetched, right? How would I do that? Who was I to like go live this incredible life and not have any financial worries whatsoever? And um, I've, I've always wanted to be a leader and to help people. I've always been in the service industry um, I've worked for myself for 12 years before I before I went on maternity leave I had a business doing energy healing and doing body work and nutritional therapy for 11 years so um, But I sold that business because I had a vision for what I wanted my life to look like and it, it wasn't only until very recently that I really you know, let myself start to dream and guess what that's being a fucking reality when I stopped suppressing my dreams and really started getting clarity and listening to this like small voice in the back of my head, not my ego, but this small voice that just started getting louder and louder and louder and I couldn't suppress it anymore. When that started happening and when I started utilizing some of the tools I'm gonna teach you in this free video series um, for fucking free, like it's pretty fucking amazing. Like 
when I started implementing this stuff, everything started changing. And, um, and I have so many other tools and this is like, this is what I help coach people on and, and teach people because we all deserve to live our dream life. You deserve to live your dream life. Your dreams are not too big for you. Your desires are not too big for you. I want you to like get that clear right now. And if you think like there's no way you could be living your dream life in a year from now because you are also borrowing money from your mom to pay your rent or maybe you live with your mom or you're on food stamps or whatever or you're a single mom and you're supporting your kids that like hey like I'm a single mom I have a 16 month old son I was on food stamps a year ago my mom was paying my rent a year ago my power my phone my internet my everything was getting cut off my car was sent to repo twice and here I am, like literally just waiting for my dog's blood test to come back so that they don't have to be quarantined when we go to Kauai. Like that's, that's where I am in less than a year. So you can absolutely do this too. The, the, like the cliche, right? Like if I can do it, you can too. It's so true. Cliches are cliches for a reason. So it's so absolutely true. And I want you to really start to grasp that and when it's when you start working on these subconscious patterns and awakening your divine feminine and healing these old wounds that we've been carrying around a lot of times for generations um, that's when you tap into your innate creative power right like we each and every single one of us women has this innate potential that resides within us and um, literally the power to create life every single one of us has that whether we choose to have children or not we still have that power and that power impacts not only our fertility it impacts our ability to manifest to bring in money to have incredible amazing relationships that we dream of instead of being in like constantly emotionally unavailable abusive relationships or whatever our stories are um, when we tap into that, we get the clients. Like we have the intimacy, we have the relationships, we have the sex, we have the money, we have whatever it is we want to create. Like we just become a magnet for it. And here I'm living proof of that. So this is like my passion and my purpose to impart this wisdom onto you. So what are we gonna do today? First of all, we need to get some clarity. So what I want you to do is if you don't have your journal, this has stuff all over it, but yeah, you know, this has notes all over it, but grab your journal, God, this light, I'm going to try to move so it's not so shiny and bright. Let me check my battery power. I don't know if this is going to let me check my battery power. Hopefully it'll, it'll give me a warning if I get too low. Okay. So can you see me? Okay. Hopefully that's better. I'm like, hiding in my bedroom because my child's napping. Um, okay. So this is a lot better. Okay. So get your journal. Um, mine has a bunch of notes and stuff on it. Um, obviously it's a journal. If you don't have a journal, um, first of all, invest in one. They don't cost a lot of money. You can just go get a Mead notebook for like $1.99 at Walgreens. Um, but get a, get a piece of paper, get something to write with. And we're going to do a little visualization exercise. So the lighting is just funky in here. Sorry guys. So, um, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, grab your journal, whatever it is. I'll give you just a minute to do that. And what I want you to start doing is, um, close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths. And I want you to visualize and give characteristics to how your life looks how your life feels right now. So um, how do you feel about your life right now? What are the emotions? Um, if you were to give your life a weight right now, would it be really heavy? Um, would it be tired? Would it be, would it be dark? Would it be light? Like what are, what are the characteristics? Does it have a texture? Um, put, put all of this, together, right? Um, contextualize how your life looks, how it feels, um, from, a, oh, my dress is all funny, from an emotional level, from a visual level, right? Like you could think of it as a piece of artwork and, and what does that look like? Like, is it hard and rough and heavy as fuck? Um, are there rough, are there sharp edges? Um, is it soft? Is it really light? 
Is it like flowing? Um, is it stagnant? So jot those down, whatever, whatever comes to mind and really think about the emotions that you have about your life and where you are right now. Um, you know, really like, yes, we always have things to be grateful for, but, um, you know, chances are if you're here and you're watching this, like you want more, right? So, um, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. So finish up what you're writing. You can always come back and redo this. And I want you to look at your list of your emotions and the characteristics of how your life looks right now. And I want you to pick the predominant emotion that sticks out for you. So um, whatever that is, pick, you know, maybe pick a few and then take a look at them and don't think about it too much. Just pick like which is the one that stands out to you most, which is your predominant emotion about how you feel and view your life right now. I totally went and got coffee today. It was delicious. Um, okay. So you have that done. I know there's a couple people on here. I don't know who's on here. It's not showing me who's on here. So if you're done, like throw me a heart because hearts are awesome and I love them. Um, and when you are ready, I want to make sure that you're ready to move on. So shoot me a comment or shoot me a heart, shoot me a thumbs up, whatever. Like, let me know that you're ready to move on. I wish Facebook still had that flower emoji. That was awesome. Okay. I got a heart. Thank you. Whoever you are. I don't know who's on here. Um, okay. Now there's my 20%. Okay. I'm going to keep going for a few more minutes and then I'm going to go into the bright light. That's it's fine for you. It's just blinding me. So now what I want you to do is I want you to really close your eyes, allow yourself to dream big picture. Thank you for that other heart. I love that. Dream big. What is it that you most desire in your life? Where are you going to be living? What does your life look like? What does your money look like? What does your relationship look like? What does your family look like? What do you look like? And then don't like no dream as I no dream is too big. Like dream fucking big. And now what I want you to do is I want you to write down how does that life look? What are the characteristics? What's the weight? Um, how is it light? Is it dark? Um, I'm sure it's pretty fucking light. That's your dream life, right? Um, what are the emotions that you feel living in that dream life, right? What do you, what does you and your dream life feel, right? What are the, what are the emotions that go on? What are you, how do you feel, um, about even thinking that that can be your life? Cause I'm here to tell you it can be your life and it will be if you keep following this. So, um, take a few minutes to jot those down. How does that feel? How does it feel? Like for me, I'm going to tell you, um, my dream life is living in Kauai, surfing every day. My son, I mean, he already is so super happy, but um, having lots of friends and we're hanging out on the beach every day and having fires and we have this gorgeous house that overlooks the ocean. It's not too big, but it's a nice size house. It overlooks the ocean. We're up on the hill. Um, we can walk into town. We ride our bikes every day to childcare, to the coffee shop and to the farmer's market. We know everyone in town. Um, that's my fucking dream life. Money is not an issue whatsoever. Um, I have a sweet brand new car. I know I have my car printed up actually. I totally have my car printed up. I've got a brand new Range Rover. It's all custom. I love it. I can fit my surfboards on top. Dogs fit in back. There's plenty of room. Okay. So how does your dream life look and feel? Now what I want you to do is I want you to pick the top three emotions and feelings that you wrote down for your dream life. All right. What are, what are the predominant emotions there? And then pick the the most predominant emotion. Again, don't think about it too much. Just pick which one is the most predominant.
Now, what I, now that you have that, compare the two. What's the predominant emotion you have right now in your current life and then the one that you're gonna have in your dream life? I'm guessing they're different, right? So now what you have is you have clarity on a mindset shift that you need to make and an emotional shift, right? So how can you find ways in your daily life to get in that state that you're going to be and feel in your dream life? And so think about, start to brainstorm ideas. How can you shift into that emotion? Like if you are predominantly depressed right now, how, what can you do to shift into being, um, you know, just excited or passionate or relaxed or um, carefree? Whatever the emotion is that came to you from where you are now to where you are there. So maybe it's, um, maybe it's exercise. Maybe what you need, what you can do is if you know that hanging out with somebody or being exposed to somebody brings you into that depressed state or prevents you from achieving that higher um, elevated state, then maybe you need to stop doing that, right? Now you have some clarity. Does this make sense? Um, do you have some, did you just get some insight? I know you did, but shoot me a heart, leave a comment. I'm not seeing any comments. I don't know if anyone left one on here. Facebook just like didn't update. So it's live is looking a little different for me right now. I don't know if it is for anyone else that's done live, but, um, yeah, you know, I had someone else on, I was watching Facebook live and they're like, I can't see any comments on here, but so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Um, but like shoot me a thumbs up, shoot me a heart. Did you just get some clarity right there? Like, I mean, again, I know you did, but this is a really powerful exercise. And before, as you are, hey, Christina, welcome. I don't know if you just jumped on or if you've been watching the whole time, um, but we just did a sweet exercise. There is a heart. Thank you very much. Um, and a thumbs up. Thank you. I love you. Um, we just did an amazing exercise again, Christina. I don't know if you just jumped on or not, but um, or if you've been following along. But we're talking about right, like how I went from literally a year ago being almost homeless to I now I am on the on track to make forty thousand dollars this month, and I'm probably going to exceed that. Whereas in July was my first fifteen thousand dollar month. In May I had um, a five thousand dollar month, which was really the first month that I made any money to speak of in my business. So, um, since I started this business, okay, now my battery's about to die. Now I have to go back over to here. I might just be blinded. Hopefully you can see me. Okay. Still. Okay. Um, okay. You've been here. Awesome. So you don't have to share, but I certainly would love it if you did, um, if you feel comfortable enough sharing, what was your, shift like what were the differences um between where you are now and where you want to be what was your main um emotional or characteristic shift you want to be just like me oh you can be i love you <laughs> yay that's awesome this is like seriously this year has been absolutely freaking amazing and um this is why i'm here to teach like all of you so you can have this too because seriously seriously anybody can achieve this and you should like I want you to the universe wants you to your guards your angels whatever you believe in they all want you to achieve this your desires are divine like literally your desires are divine and I mean I got that from Amanda Francis that is not me but it's so true like and once you like really get to that point where you grasp that um, you like, so like, it just, it, you feel it on a completely different level. Right. So, um, and it's so amazing and it all starts with having this clarity. Like it's so, so important. So go from where you are now. What can you do on a daily basis, even for just a couple of minutes to get into that state? 
right? So brainstorm some things that are um, logical for you. This is stuff, I mean, I have a lot of suggestions I can give, um, and that's what I do with my, I give, I give homework that some people might like roll their eyes at, but it's fucking amazing. So, um, you know, some ideas. Maybe what you need to do is like walk around in your underwear. Maybe what you need to do is just dance. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for saying that. I love that. Um, I love my energy too. <laughs> so, um, you know, how can you, how can you like really get into that incredible state that you're going to be in when you are making 40,000, 60,000, 100,000 dollars a month. Whatever it is your goal is, how are you going to feel? For a long time I worked as a fertility coach. I'm going to give you a little bit of background. Because my group, um if you look back at the older stuff, I talk about fertility, right? And um why I'm sharing this now is because what I've realized in every single every single client that I had is um there is this underlying stuff that needed to be worked out. And this is like what I'm introducing you to right now. Um, good. You walk in your t-shirt underwear at home all the time. That's awesome. How does it make you feel? Does it make you, make you feel like you're having a lazy pajama day or does it make you feel like really sexy and confident? Um, so what I realized with every one of my fertility clients was like, yes, with nutritional therapy, we get you know, we get to a place, but there was always like, everyone would plateau. And um, what would happen is I would start working on like the limiting beliefs, the subconscious stories, and really healing the, um, doing a lot of womb healing. Womb is kind of a trigger word for a lot of people. Well, um, so doing womb work is a lot of what I do. It's, um, it's kind of a trigger word for people. But, um, you know, really tapping into this creative energy, right? Like your second chakra is the seat of emotions. It's also your seat of creativity. That's where your womb sits, right? Like that's where your divine feminine energy is. And we live in such a masculine dominated society. And how well is that treating us? Um, Emma says, fear is holding me back and my dream life is where I feel fulfilled. Okay. So what can you do even for a couple moments every day to find a state of being fulfilled, Emma? What can you do? Maybe it's visualizing your dream life. Maybe just like really spending a couple minutes every day just like visualizing your dream life. Um, but think about some things. Melanie says, oh my God, yes, totally masculine dominated. Yeah, we all are in a masculinely dominated society. Um, and and a, lot, a lot of times our state. I'm gonna talk a lot more about this in my next video for this video series. But, um, you know, just to like give a little teaser there because I can talk about this for freaking hours. So, we've been really suppressed. Okay, Emma says visualizing and meditating. Yes, but with a 12 month old, I am struggling. Emma. I have a 16 month old. He just turned 16 months the other day. Don't use him. Is, is it a boy? I'm looking at your profile picture, but it's like really, really tiny, right? On the um, comments here. So um, I can't tell, so I apologize. It looks like a boy, but it might be a girl because it's like literally super tiny from what I see here. <laughs> um, but don't use your child as an excuse to not be able to do it. And I know that sounds really hard where you are at, I know that and like literally I have a 16 month old so I completely know where you are. It is a boy. Okay, good. I thought it looked like one. It's like literally so tiny. I don't know if you've ever done a Facebook live but if you ever have like the little profile picture on the comments like comes up super small. So I didn't want to get that wrong. Um, it is, which actually I have to wrap this up because mine's sleeping in the other room. I gotta go check on him. But um, it is, you know, really, really common that we, our feminine energy is suppressed and, and like we need to tap into our feminine energy. Every single one of us has male and female energy, men and women. We both have male and female energies running through us. We've just been trained that being feminine is weak, right? Um, 
Yeah, Melanie. Melanie says, I have meditated while nursing. I know that sounds really weird, but I've done it. It's a different kind of meditation from the usual, but it helps me to reconnect. Yeah, you can meditate at any time. I do walking meditations. Um, where I live right now, I live in um, like the Palm Springs area in Southern California, so it's hot as fuck right now. And I'll take, there's like this gondola we can go up to 8,000 feet and go in the mountains up there so it cools down to like 80 degrees. And um, it's really cute. Owen will go like hike around. He's getting his little hiker's legs. He's a little wobbly little toddler. Toddler is so cute. And he will, and I'll just do like walking meditations because I still have to keep an eye on him. But I have, I set my intention and I walk very slowly. I usually kick my shoes off so I can be barefoot and connected with the earth and we'll do a walking meditation. There's so many different ways to meditate. So um, yeah, Melanie, that's awesome. I've totally meditated while breastfeeding too because sometimes there are days when, you know, that might be the only like quiet time that you get. So I absolutely get it for, for both of you guys. Um, but I did, I mean, and even recently, like right, and I'm still like on this like uphill trajectory, even recently I was like, holy shit, I was totally using my child as an excuse on why I couldn't do this. So, um, I just want to encourage you that, like, not, not, not calling you out, Emma, by any means, um, just for anybody that watches and listens, you know, like, we, we create excuses, and that's resistance, right? Um, because doing something different, doing something new, it's going to feel different, and it's going to feel awkward, and getting out of our comfort zone, even if where you don't like where you are right now financially in your relationships um, with your fertility struggles whatever it is if you don't like where you are right now it's still your comfort zone so achieving something different is uncomfortable right so we have to like really like tap into this creative energy and we have to um, we have to rewrite our stories on the subconscious level um, and that's the work that I do and when you do that you become a fucking magnet for everything you want again living proof. Um, <laughs> Emma says, thanks, Lindsay. I needed to hear that. Call me out. I think I need accountability. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Okay. Well, keep staying tuned. Um, I've got a fucking amazing like group course that I'm starting in October that I'm so fucking stoked about. So um, stay tuned because you're going to get all of that there. But uh, yeah, like I like to be called out too. Sometimes, um, you know, not everybody likes to be called out, but I sure as shit like it because, you know, I want things different. So, and I did for a long time. And um, not everybody, you know, likes to just be honest, right? But not being honest is sometimes is doing you disservice, right? And like for me being here to, um, to be your guide on whatever level that looks like, if I'm not honest, I'm doing you a disservice. So, um, I'm glad you're receptive to that. I'm very glad that means that you that receptivity to like being called out like that so to say is um that's gonna get you from here to there so much quicker because you're not gonna fight as hard okay so any questions before I sign off I've got to go check on my child we did a driving nap so he is sleeping in the car with the AC on so I need to go check on him. Um, he should still be out, but you know, I always like to go out there every 10 or 15 minutes or so. Um, any questions? Hopefully you gained a lot of insight. I know you did. This is a really powerful visualization and journaling exercise. So next time, um, we are going to talk about more about how to tap into that creative energy. So thank you so much for being here. Mwah! I love you all. You are just so fucking beautiful and such incredible lights this world needs you to step into your highest potential so much so um thank you again for being here i'll talk to you soon